Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again on the Blast series. The Lord is, is amazing. The Lord is doing wonders. The Lord is doing great things. We bless God. We exalt him. We are here again on the Blast series. And the Lord is blessing us. And the Lord is doing wonders in our lives. I believe strongly that you have been activating the blood. Yesterday, we spoke about the blood voice. Talking about the voice of the blood of Jesus. That speaks better things than any other blood. Whatever blood that may have been shed on your behalf illegally. Whatever blood that you may have even shed illegally. I want you to know that the blood of Jesus Christ is that blood that intervenes and speak with a better voice for you in the courtroom of God and in the court of heaven. Shall we pray? So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name for your blood. And we thank you that the blood of Jesus is speaking for us in the courtroom of heaven. The blood is bringing a stronger case and a stronger voice on behalf of us. And we declare, oh my God, any other blood that has been released against us to speak, to accuse us, to speak and make demands over our lives, we call on the voice of the blood of Jesus even to intervene and to undertake for us. As we hear your word today, we declare that we shall be blessed, we shall be changed, we shall be transformed. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. This is your pastor and your friend, Shamus in Glory, Abe, from the Mega Caris International Ministries, I bring you the Mega Breath Devotional. Today, we'll be looking at the functions or the importance of the blood. The functions and the importance of the blood. The Bible says in God's word, Leviticus 17 verse 11, that without the shedding of blood, there can be no remission of sin. In other words, there is nothing that is done in the heavenly tabernacle, in the courtroom of God, in the palace of God, without blood. And the only blood that God accepts, the only blood that God will respect is the blood of His Son, the blood of Jesus Christ. So today, we want to look at the importance and the functions of blood. One of the things that Jesus did when he died, he took his own blood, presented it as a priest to his heavenly father. And the Bible says in the book of Hebrews that as a priest, he had to present his own blood in the temple to activate the temple in the heavens. And from that day forward, there was a proper functioning of temple activity. That is what the Bible said to us. That is our high priest. Is our intercessor. He sits on the right hand side of God, his father, making intercession for us. When he presented the, his blood, his father took it and placed it on the mercy seat. And the mercy seat is the throne of God, where God's throne is. In other words, God sits in the blood of Jesus. And that is why when the blood of Jesus speaks, Something happens to God. Something happens in the kingdom of heaven. Something happens in creation. When the blood speaks, God is activated. God is released. God got to move. Today, let's look at some nine basic functions of the blood of Christ. But before we look at that, I want us to look at the, the importance of our own natural blood. The reason you have blood inside of you. Number one, the blood regulates all the human systems. We have about 11 to 12 systems in the body. The cardiovascular, the, the immune system, the reproductive system, the respiratory system that is suffering under corona. The blood regulates that part of the system. What it means is that the blood of Jesus is able to regulate any system of your body. It doesn't matter what has gone wrong. The blood of Jesus can regulate it. Number two, blood supplies oxygen and nutrients to the tissues. That's what blood does. 
It supplies oxygen. It supplies nutrient. That is why most people, when they go through the difficulty and the challenges, they end up having issues with oxygen in their blood. And once we lose oxygen in the blood, the blood becomes poison. And that's the function of blood. Blood also removes waste. So whatever poison, whatever disease, whatever issue that you may have in your body, blood is able to clear that quickly. Number four, blood transports the hormones and other signals through the body. Maybe you are suffering from hormonal issues hormonal imbalance, hormonal challenges. I'm here to announce to you, if you know how to activate, if you know how to use the blood of Jesus Christ, your hormones will behave. Your hormones will begin to dance again. Your hormones will be properly aligned. Your hormones will be set properly for a proper function of the body. And lastly, blood regulates the body pH and the core temperature in the body. Once your blood is functioning right, what it does is that the pH in your, in your blood and also the temperature in your life will be balanced properly and you'll be living well. Now let's look at the nine basic functions of the blood of Jesus Christ. Number one, the blood of Jesus Christ makes atonement. Atonement is simply becoming one with God. At one man. At one man. Atonement. So the blood of Jesus According to Romans 3.25, it makes atonement for us before the Father. Number two, the blood of Jesus Christ speaks justification. It speaks justification. Romans 5 verse 9, justification simply means to render somebody free or innocent. The blood also functions for salvation. So it speaks salvation. That is Romans 5 verse 9 again. The word salvation is the word sozo, which means total release, total freedom. And it's a package. Healing, release, deliverance, everything, it's in salvation. The blood also speaks reconciliation. In Romans 5 verse 10, the blood speaks conciliation. What is conciliation? It's a mutual agreement to change the account and consider it balanced. That is what the blood does. The blood also speaks forgiveness. Ephesians 1 7. Ephesians 1 7. The blood speaks forgiveness. The blood also speaks redemption. The same Ephesians 1 7. Redemption. The blood speaks peace. Colossians 1 20. Colossians 1 20. The peace there means to harmonize. So the blood of Christ is that which brings harmonization. In everything between us and God. And the last but one. The blood speaks sanctification. What does that mean? Hebrews 13, 12. It means the blood speaks of our holiness. The blood separates us. And makes us unique. The blood dedicates us to our Father. Finally, the blood cleanses. It speaks cleansing. The blood of Christ speaks cleansing. I believe we have been blessed by this message. These are the functions of the blood. So if you want to pray, activate the voice of the blood to speak for you. These are some of the things you can let the blood speak. You can mandate the blood. You can activate the blood. You can make demands on the blood. You can even command the blood of Jesus to speak for you. Because this is the function of the blood of Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters again, you can never let or have the blood speaking for you when there's no relationship between you and the lamb jesus is the lamb and we are talking about his blood if you want the blood to speak for you and bring about all the benefits and the functions we are spoken about then i present jesus to you so that you can receive him as your lord and savior say after me lord jesus i accept you as my lord and savior i acknowledge i'm a sinner I acknowledge you as the Lord and the King of glory. Come into my life and make me brand new. Fill me with your spirit. Wash me with your blood. And let me serve your purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, by this prayer, you have become a member of the family of God. The blood of Jesus is available to you. You can call on the blood. You can activate the blood. 
You can call the blood to speak for you and the blood will speak for you. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that from today, your life will never be the same again. The blood is speaking. This is your pastor and your friend, Shamosing Glory Abbey from the Mega Caris International Ministries on this Mega Breath devotional platform. If you are blessed and you want to follow us or visit us to get more inspirational teaching and Bible-based messages, then you can follow us on our, all our social media platforms that is being scrolled on the uh, screen so you can get in touch with us. God bless you. Let me pray with you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask today that let the functions of the blood of Christ be the portion of your people. I declare, O oh God, you infuse your blood into creation. Infuse your blood into every living soul, into every person that hears me today. Infuse your blood in all the systems of their bodies. Infuse your blood in their family, in their relationship, in their work, in their vocation, in their children, your husbands, in your wives. I pray, O oh God, that whatever it is that is a challenge, let the blood solve it right now. My brothers and sisters, a miracle has occurred in your life because the blood is speaking for you and things are happening. You can call us and then share your testimony and you will receive much more. In Jesus' name, mega shalom. Amen.